Ashley Mazuri, KTN News. Tourism Cabinet Secretary Najib Balala has appealed for tolerance if Kenya's tourism sector is to fully recover from the slump it had faced in the last four years. Balala expressed fears that with the current political climate in the country of daily demonstrations, this would wipe away gains made in the country's tourism sector. Hoteliers at the coastal city of Mombasa have begun feeling the heat as tourists scale down on travel plans as Kenya prepares for the October 26th polls. This trend is causing ripples in one of Kenya's top forex earners. Nobody is willing to book on long term because they don't know what is the political scenario and stability of the country. That's why I'm calling my colleagues in the political arena that we can play the, the, the noises of politics, which is healthy and democratic, but we have to be very careful. Speaking at KICC after gracing the launch of the Magical Kenya Travel Expo, Tourism Cabinet Secretary Najib Balala disclosed that a lot is at stake. Uh, we hope by end of October we will have moved on as a country, we'll have a government in place and we'll be able to continue with our transformation of the economy. Uh, but the figures are 10%. If we stabilize immediately, definitely there'll be an increase of that uh, growth. But if we don't, there'll be a decline of that growth. Kenya's tourism sector generated 99 billion shillings in 2016, representing a 10% growth. We have really improved in the last one year and is among the best seasons we had in a long time. Kenya Tourism Board Chairman Jimmy Karioki knows that the political climate in the country could easily tilt fortunes for the industry, especially if Kenya fails to have peaceful polls. With thousands of Kenyans depending on jobs from the tourism sector, from tour drivers to grocery suppliers to hotels, a slowdown in tourist numbers will certainly cause a big impact on many households. Abiyagina, KTN News.